prominent Democrat who tried to block Brett Kavanaugh's nomination is ripping the justice tonight and calling for yet another investigation. As the president blasts the left for its treatment of his newest Supreme Court justice, let's turn to National Security Attorney Bradley Moss and former Deputy Assistant Attorney General John Yu to talk about it. Great to have you both with us tonight, gentlemen. Good evening, Shannon. Okay, so earlier tonight, uh, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, Democrat, of course, who sits on judiciary, they, of course, start these confirmation hearings and do the initial vote, said this, we must never forget how Kavanaugh lied his way onto the court on the back of a fake FBI investigation and a partisan male and Republican victimhood saga he created to drown out the witness against him might be good for the House to investigate that FBI investigation. John, we got a lot of investigations going on, and now Senator Whitehouse months later is saying, let's go back after Kavanaugh. Well, first, these are completely different kinds of FBI investigations. With President Trump and the use of FISA to surveil secretly his campaign and campaign officials, top leaders of the FBI authorized I think probably an illegal search and surveillance invading the privacy rights of president and his of presidential candidate's campaign. In the Kavanaugh case, someone came forward who was opposed to Kavanaugh, asked for FBI investigations, and the FBI went out according to Senate rules and just conducted an investigation of the facts, made no judgments about credibility, you may remember, and they just reported those facts to the Senate. And the Senate as a body decided whether to take those seriously and gave its advice and consent, which it did to Justice, now Justice Kavanaugh. Completely different kinds of operations in the FBI. And one is an invasion of privacy rights, and the other one is not. Okay, so whether the president was specifically responding to this tweet or had seen it or not, he, he did talk about Justice Kavanaugh tonight, and those who came after him, here's what he said. They tried to ruin the family of now Justice Kavanaugh. They tried to ruin his career. They tried to ruin his life. They even wanted to impeach him on fraudulent charges. So Bradley, does this actually help the president? Does this help Republicans if it looks like the Democrats cannot let this issue go now that Kavanaugh has been on the bench for months? He's there. It's a lifetime appointment. Um, or is it better for their base to keep stirring it up? But gee, I wonder where the Democrats got the idea of investigating the investigators. I've been hearing <laughs> this in tweets. I think it came from the president. This is the problem when, you know, you set this kind of example from the top where everything is the moment investigation ends. I'm going to investigate whoever dared to investigate me or my friends. This is getting ridiculous. Senator Whitehouse, I don't know where he was going with this. It's certainly his prerogative to make those comments. I don't agree with it. There was nothing wrong. I agree with John. There was nothing wrong with how the investigation of just Justice Kavanaugh, the FBI interviews, they were done according to protocol as far as I know. These are two very different circumstances, but this idea that we're going to constantly keep reinvestigating everything has got to come to some kind of closure at some point because we're never going to advance anywhere like that. Okay, so there is another investigation that's going on. Speaking of <laughs> investigations, we need a flow chart to keep them all going. Yes. It would take up the entire wall behind me. Uh, but there's one going on with respect to the handling of Hillary Clinton's emails and classified information and the private servers still going on. Um, there is a letter now outlining some of this um, that came through Senator Grassley yesterday saying there have been a number of violations and other issues with respect to emails and Hillary Clinton. So now there's a letter from some of the top Republicans on the House Oversight Committee asking Chairman Cummings to look into that. They say we request a hearing to examine widespread security protocol breaches at the State Department concerning former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's private email server. Given your previous statements about protecting our national security interests, I hope you would agree that the committee should take immediate action on this matter. Quickly, I want to get you both to react. John, to you first. So first, there's a hidden thing in the letter which a lot of people aren't paying attention to, which I think is a blockbuster, which is the letter says the reason it took us so long to do this is because the FBI got first dibs. The FBI is still conducting an investigation into Hillary Clinton, the server, and the potential vulnerability of a lot of the nation's secrets to foreign intelligence agencies. So that tells us something we didn't know before, is that there's still an FBI Justice Department investigation going on into the Hillary Clinton server and the loss of classified information. We haven't heard any news about mm -hmm. that, what the results are. And so I, if I were right. Hillary Clinton interview, I would be a little bit worried about that little fact. Now, I'll respectfully disagree on the, in the sense that I don't think she should be worried. None of this is going to change the original legal analysis that didn't find a reason to bring a criminal charge. Her and her aides are never going to get clearances probably again, mm -hmm. at least for the next five, ten years, but that's the extent of All it. All right, so we found another investigation to add to the investigations tonight. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, thank you both for coming in. Absolutely.